Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 11 series of the Invader Defender 2 scenario. Um, I did the trader start on the moon, and it was a, a whole lot of trading to get my... <laughs> SP. It's. I mean, it was. It, it worked. I mean, uh, you know, I did it. I'm here now. I'm on the trader home planet, building my uh, base. So this is going to be the lobby. I decided not to make this the garden. Uh, although I might still put some grow. I'm still contemplating putting a, a couple of grow plots in and and putting lamps in anyway, just to get the plants to grow. Then I'll remove the lamps and make it like a decorative plant, and hopefully nobody ever picks it. Well, since it's single player, hopefully I don't pick it. But, you know, no guarantees I won't derp out and pick it. Uh, okay, so second level is going to be whatever. Third level, another. So those are two levels that are identical. So one's going to be medical, one's going to be residential. This one's the garden. So I decided to do a um, two sides of three sets of three by three plots. So they'll end up being, what, 54? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's totally going to feed us. <laughs> Might, might not be enough for a large crew, but you can always knock, you know, if you're going to build a big building like this, it's easy enough to expand the garden if you're really suffering. I don't know what we're going to. So this is my focus. I need to get this place sealed. i got to get it sealed so I can get this garden going. Um, so that means we are going to work on the penthouse. So this is going to be our own personal um, residence at the top here and then on the roof is going to be a landing pad for an SV. <clears throat> so this is going to be slightly smaller so I want like the a good portion of the roof or you know a few squares of the roof are going to be um, my patio uh, a, a wraparound patio so to speak right so um, I guess what I should do is let's grab the railings for starters. That's probably a good idea. So prevent ourselves from like running off the edge or something. I, I can just foresee that happening. So we want to get railings. We're going to put railings around the whole freaking thing. And I think we got these new round railings, right? So we, we've got more railing choices. I think we could easily do. I'm pretty sure we got them now. I'm, I'm going to take a look. It's going to be awesome. And I'm excited. I'm excited for railings. Okay. Okay. And come on, come on. Ooh, where's the... No? Oh, is this like a transition glass railing round? Oh, it is the right one. Yeah! Yes! 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 Oh. Oh, oh that felt so good. Okay, um, wow, I'm a little lightheaded from that. Wow. Whew, let's do this one. And <laughs> yes, I just, oh. Uh, okay, so I guess we're going with this uh, design because, you know, because that's the only round. Oh, ooh, crap. Oh, modular. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see? So it's not the only one. So, interesting. Oh, look at that. It's got like, uh, well, let's, let's take a look over here with the new ones. Let's take a look over here with the new style of railing. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Okay, I think we found our winner. Nice. So let's. So that's a modular. Diagonal. No, not. We just want this. 
Yeah. Okay, so can we... How many of these? Can we just go like this? Nice. Come on. Okay, we're getting them in there. And... Oh, I like these railings. It's because they're different. <laughs> they're new. The fancy. Oh, come on. Actually, they very much so remind me of just common modern <laughs> glass railings. See, these ones are completely... I guess more futuristic looking and more, I don't know. These ones are more contemporary. It's kind of a weird base to put like a contemporary item on though, but uh, well, not really. I think this should look fine. Let's knock this off. <clears throat> okay. So, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Even though it's probably fine, I've been probably collecting it yet. What we want to do is I logged in and logged out and I didn't reconnect. It's going to cause problems. So I, I, I'm just going to put everything back in my bar. It can, it can cause bugs. For s it, it, it just, sometimes you can't like click these buttons. It just, they won't work. <laughs> it's like, ah, it gets frustrating. It's like, no, okay. Just, just remember to, to un just click that twice right and put your stuff back uh i think that's you know what we want to try and get a wireless up here too uh we won't well yeah we're gonna do furnishings and we're gonna do some more elevators too but that's gonna be off to the side okay so let's get finish getting the railings in anyway And it was the nice and done. And then we want the vertical ones. Come on, won't go anymore. It's fine. There we go. And I almost got these railings up. Oops. Nice. Okay, so we want to do... I know it's a boring design, but this place is freaking... This, I built a pretty big base. <laughs> this is, this is going to be a borderline one of the bigger ones I've done in quite a while. It's because I'm not getting attacked, so I kind of have the freedom to just go crazy and not, like, hunker down and get weapons ready and, you know, make it freaking armored and blah, 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 blah. Making this thing armored right now would just be, whew, that'd be tedious. That'd be tedious. Okay. Um, so I think we want to do... We're just going to go to the glass here. Um, so we'll just continue with the rounded corner theme. We're going to come in. Let's flip this. Oops. Not that way. Like that. Well, that didn't help hit it. Like that. And actually, we, you know, now we got it facing the... No, we got it facing the right way. That's fine. Okay, so... We want to come in to, do we want to go more than that? I think so. Go there. Yeah, that'll make a big enough, big enough penthouse for us. With a huge freaking patio. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that was... One, I, I should have put a symmetry plane up, but it's not... 
Well, yeah, I should have. I should have. I, sh you know, I, I, I still could, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna bother. It's, it's not gonna be worth it. Um. Okay. Just quick Gavin and just do this. <sighs> that was one, two, and then so it's one, two, and three. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> that should be it right there. One, two, one, two. Yeah, okay. And then we'll get that on there. Oh, come on. Yeah, that'll be plenty big. Plenty big. Two. Two. Oh, come on. Nice. Okay. And then, should I do it three high? I think I should, right? Like the vaulted ceiling type penthouse look. Okay, so I don't know if, how many squares is this one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweet. Because I'm I did everything. It should be, uh, well, I mean, I only moved it. I moved it by twos, right? So it should stay all unilateral and even numbered. That way I can put down the large windows. And then, you know what? Should we do like four up and, <laughs> and really go for the extreme vaulted ceiling? Uh, maybe. Well, now I have to, right? Because I said it. Okay. So, because we've got the windows for it. We've got 176. Yeah, we've got the windows. went a little overkill maybe on windows i mean we still got to do the uh processing plant too right so okay um okay let's get the two by twos and we can knock the ones out that we want to remove for the doors i think after let's get this in i'm thinking right there And right across from it then, maybe. Although, you know what? Maybe a door in every... Yeah, leave the center one out. Okay, okay, that works. It sure does work. Okay. Now, the problem is doing this. I won't be able to put walls up to win windows on the inside. I could probably get away with windows spun on the back side here. Yeah, let's do this. 
I think I, I should be able to get away with this. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Oh, mm, mm, uh. All right. No, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Right there. And then. Yeah, I think we can do this. Because then that'll give us a spot to actually make a bedroom properly. With stuff coming right up to the, with walls coming right up to the windows. Um, because if I, if I use the blocks on the inside, I can always flip these windows now. And what I mean by flip the windows is because they're, they're showing on the wrong side, right? But what we want is we just do the change and rotate. And we just click on each one really quick. There we go. So now they're tinted in the proper direction. So now it doesn't look so bad. I mean, it doesn't line up here. But there's there's really nothing I can do about it. Um, unfortunately, it's going to be really, really bad here. The, the reason why I did it on this side is because that side is really uh, structurally unsound. <laughs> and I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's go into the... Uh, Debug menu, and we'll do the structural integrity. Yeah, see that? Oof. This is going to potentially collapse here. So I'm not really... I'm a little leery once we start putting... Um, you know what? You know what? You know what we're going to do? Let's do a save. So we're going to back this up. Okay. Um, because I don't feel like rebuilding the entire building from scratch. Because <laughs> their their structural integrity is so stupid that that's literally what they would do is you know one glass of paint would fall and the entire building would blow up. So yeah, I don't want that happening. Now I could just turn structural integrity off altogether. And build, and then when I'm done, turn it back on. But that's kind of weird. Like, why even bother then? Why have structural integrity if you're just going to do that? So I'm going to try to build within the limits of structural integrity while still keeping the design that I want. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to because look at how crappy a foundation I've got here for this high up on some of these windows. So this side is really good. And that's why I think um, I should be able to get away with these two windows supporting that full block length or that full length of because uh, it's just going to be like right here, this guy right here, right, right there. Nope, not that. It's uh, this one. Yeah, and then we get that on there. And then this there, you can see the color already. Oof, ooh, that's nasty. That's nasty. Okay, so, um, well, let's get the windows in. That's really dangerous. I'm not sure if we're going to pull this off. Okay, so let's, we're going to, we're going to leave that window out. Okay, let's spin this. I'm not going to have any walls against uh, this side of the building. So... I'm not going to put wall uh, glass on the outside. If I pull this off without it blowing up, I'll be really happy. Because then we can really get this base up and running. And because it's doing nothing for us right now, it's just our glorified freaking bed, really. That's all I'm using it for right now, because that's all it has use for. 
Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Come on. Oops. Let's get this one up here. And again. And again. And then just got over here left. Come on. There we go. And, oh, come on, I should, there we go. Excellent. And then we'll aim up there. No, come on. This way. Oh, had it. There we go. Okay, so now we'll put doors in. Uh, how did we want to do this? Double doors? <laughs> it's kind of crazy and wonderful at the same time. I don't think we have, I don't think we have the doors for it, but, um, in fact, we don't. So let's just, it's got to be sealed too. Uh, let's give it a more smooth look and we'll line it up with this here. And... Should we do that on the outside or the inside? I guess it doesn't matter. Because I'm not going to put something in that block right in front of the door. So uh, it just doesn't matter. Okay, and then we're going to do doors. Keep doing doors. Okay, this one on the other hand, we'll do a double door. Yeah. Then that leaves us one for up top, which is perfect. What I mean for up top is I gotta do the, I gotta seal the stair, the elevator somehow, which we're gonna put in here. Okay, getting there, getting there. Okay, now one more. Just got to finish this off. And we should be able to put the roof in now. Um, let's just see. Whew, that one scares me. Okay, let's let's save again really quick. Okay. <sighs> here, here goes nothing. This one should be fine. I'm just thinking... Where can I put the elevator if I have, if I'm having issues there. If I put one coming up here. Or continue one of them. Yeah, why don't we just continue one of them. And then we can do something decorative with those blocks, I guess. Come on. And one more, right? Yeah. Come on. Oh. Right there. Okay. Oh, look at the structural integrity. We've got some red spots here and there. That's scary, but we're not going to be building anymore. Okay, it's coming along, coming along. It's coming along. So we'll have different textures. We'll have a bunch of uh, emissive textures on the piping here, I think. That should look good. And then we'll have flatter colors or something on the building. And then, um, yeah.
Yeah, I think it'll look good. Okay, so let's let's attempt to get this. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna have to try coming across and connect. Ooh, nice. Oh, good. Good. I was hoping the elevator block was gonna give us some support, and it looks like it is. Oh, ooh, I'm. I'm uh, happy about that. This will help. This will help. Yeah, we'll be able to do it now. That elevator block is holding it together. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Just get this filled in. Oh, come on. Nice. Now, there is a couple more. Oh. There is a couple more um, things I wanted to put up, but I didn't. I'm not really going to put them on the roof here. I'm going to be putting them on these, and they're like totally solid green, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. Yeah, look at this, nice. Okay. A little extravagant for a for a house, isn't it? I guess maybe. Um, okay. Well, I guess for now we can just put the door down. So we want uh, same thing. It's got to be airtight. So let's just go like that for now, and that should be it. That should be airtight. The building should now be airtight. It looks like it is. I believe we are now airtight. Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'll screw around with my penthouse suite later, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Quite the view. Look at the sunset. Okay, right, let's turn the structural integrity off. And I gotta paint and texture this up properly before we start putting any gear in too. So uh, at least get the inside painted and textured. Oh, don't want to jump off. Nice. Look at that view. Crazy. Looking down to the processing plant there that we got started. then down over to the it's hard to see it's getting really dark now but there's the uh, tower I'll have lights and flashing lights and stuff we'll have runway painted now let's go back inside this is awesome I got the seal yay this was the um, oh I got to put railings up top too and so we're gonna paint an air landing strip up top and and stuff like that so that's cool um yeah i guess i could put a bed up here now this is where the this is the wall that i can use for the to put stuff up against namely other stuff so what I want to do is I want to do like a not windows so I want a really thin thin wall block should we do like pipe senses no not sure if I want oh it's kind of cool though we can make something cool maybe let's take a look Let's let's look at what we can do here. Oh, look at that! That is some serious piping. Oh crap! Um, hmm. Well, it's interesting. Let's uh, if we put did it that way, then is there if so? Is there one each side? No, there isn't. Okay, or is there? Hang on. 
Let's see. Ooh. Let's take a look at that. Oh, cool. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what this is going to look like. Oh, that's trippy as hell. Yeah. Sweet design for inner walls. All right. Let's do the pipe in walls. Look at that. That is so cool. This is exactly the type of thing I wanted to do for a bedroom wall. That is awesome. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, how far should I do this out? I can... Uh, what did it have there? It had the angle. Does it have a connector? That's top. Doesn't have a sharp. Doesn't have like one. Yeah. We'd have to do this to get an angle. I mean, that's not that bad. I think that all lines up too. Look at that. That is kind of cool, actually. Sweet. Let's do this. That's awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, and then we just do solid across here. We have one door in. Okay, so let's do that. So solid across. Can we... Nope, that's an angle. I want, where's the solid, just solid wall of pipe? Just a single solid wall of pipe, right? Right, that's what I want. Where is it? Um, I know it, I know it exists too. Where the heck is it? That's an angle one. I don't want an angle one. Where's the, what? It's got to exist. It has to. I know it does. I know the... Is it a concrete thing? So do I need to put wood up? That, that doesn't make sense. Uh, can I do something like this? No, that won't necessarily work. <sighs> Might as well just continue that then, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Reason I'm sectioning this off is because, well, it's my bedroom for starters. I need a little bit of privacy, right? Some decorum of privacy. <laughs> Not much with these the piping walls, but I think it's cool. So too bad. Oh, I know. I got. I should. I should be making the garden right now, but I'm excited about the new block shapes. <laughs> Wanted to check out what I could do with my penthouse. Sweet. And then we can do... Uh, I don't have any doors left. i got to make some more. So i got to put uh, the angle ones down now. OK. 
Okay, and then... Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, and then we need like a... Oh, did I make that side too big? Did I do that? But it's... Oh, I know why, because I think, uh, yeah, it's not, because it's not a, I did an uneven, uneven width to this to make the door centered and both walls the same width. So on the other side, I can't do anything with that little, that little strip of space. I can't do anything down here. These blocks are completely eaten up. That's fine. That's fine. We got our little log. Ooh, logs. Oh, could I make that look like wood? I think I can. Let's, um, you know what? I, I, I want to take a look here. Yeah, we have it on us. So let's do this. And can we make it look like wood? I'm pretty sure we could. Oh, come on. I'm probably looking right at it, and it's just not, that's not it. I thought we could make concrete look like wood. I thought there was a texture to make it look like wood. Crap. Oh, well. It's okay. We can make it look like metal, though, right? Like That'll be kind of offensive. That'll be glowy. Uh, that would be kind of cool, potentially. This has potential also. Let's try this. So that and what? Um, white, we'll try the white. Oh, it's kind of trippy. Not really sure if that's what we want, but... That is a bizarre texture on those pipes. Uh... I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> what about this? Ooh. Ooh, I, I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. There we go. There we go. Yes. Freaking industrial. <laughs> Looks like a bathroom. God damn it. Um, <sighs> well, I guess that's for. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to leave it that texture now. <laughs> uh, what about if we actually did, like, brick? What does that look like? Yeah, let's see. Oh, I 
actually kind of like that. Okay, that's freaking cool. I like that better than the... That does not look... hideous. It's trippy. Brick. <laughs> Brick bedroom. Brick piping bedroom. Oh, this texture is just... Can we get this? Oh, yeah, we can get that texture. Nice. Okay. Okay, well, that's weird. And... Uh, yeah. We'll leave it at this. <laughs> so next episode, I think we'll get the garden set up and running next time.